Gemini, this is Sol. And Gemini, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of August 29th through September 5th. Before 2016, before I begin your messages, Gemini, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming um, Labor Day holiday. Please be safe. And also, too, this is going to be the last weekly uh, video that I do uh, as I spend time taking a week off uh, to enjoy the holiday as well uh, with family and friends. Uh, we'll resume the week after uh, Labor Day. All right. So let's get right into your messages, Gemini. It seems like it's going to be a pretty... Uh, well at least a fairly decent week for some of you uh, but we're going to start off with the energy for some of you that you may encounter is the eight of swords and the upright so i never liked the eight of swords nine of swords ten of swords uh because the higher the uh, number goes the more uh impact of the energy is uh, but because it's in the uh upright this could be and please keep in mind, Gemini, that this is just a general reading. The messages that I'm about to say to you, you have to apply those messages to whatever is close, personal, or significant for you. But even though the you know we're starting off with the energy of the Eight of Swords, I don't feel that it's just all about, um, for some of you, being feeling like you're trapped because that's what that represents there's this anxiety associated or attached to this eight of swords so some of you may be starting the week off feeling kind of anxious feeling kind of uh fearful um whatever that is for you but it's not something that you can't overcome um there's an emphasis of worrying so there's a i'm, I'm feeling that there's some of you worrying about uh, either a relationship or worrying about possibly a job could be worrying about what your next move is going to uh, to be in terms of your your life moving forward and this is where the uh, swords comes in uh, some of you may be you know worrying to the extreme where you're not sleeping well so this could be a week that you don't get that uh, you know average eight hours or six hours of sleep some of this is uh, afflicting your mental agility. So some just be on your guard. And some of you may not be thinking clearly uh, this week. But that's just the energy that I'm feeling for some of you. Okay, so whatever it means to you, this is what I'm putting out there. Uh, what's up next is the Empress card. Uh, three, well, it's not the three. Major Arcana, Major Life Event. It is a three. Uh, it's in the reverse. So there could be the uh, emphasis with the Empress showing up next to the eight of swords that that anxiety uh is related to some sort of lack of uh growth or expansion uh could be you know for some of you a creative project it could be a relationship it could be uh something going on in the family structure uh with work uh and also um friendship i think i said friendship but i'm not sure could be a f friendship but this is like the slowing down. So if I have any creative uh, Gemini's, um, you may feel this week. My Gemini uh, moon. I have a Gemini moon, so and it's all about creativity for us. So you may experience a, a decrease of you know being creative, but you don't have to be no, you know, you don't have to be artistic. Uh, some of you are just not going to feel um, possibly, you know, creative. You know, it may be related to ideals that the ideals, um, because we're always thinking. Gemini's are always thinking, and sometimes we overthink um, to the point where we can't shut it off. But <clears throat> it may be related to those, you know, those ideals and creative uh, projects and stuff being slowed down. Are not coming to you in terms of development. The Empress also uh, in the reverse represents it could be the conflict that I'm getting involving a love triangle and there's no growth or expansion within that situation and that may be creating the anxiety and you know coupled with fear you're feeling like you're trapped in a situation and you can't get out. Um, but just know that's just your own mental mind um, and what you want to believe. Uh, no one is ever really trapped, at least physically. 
in a situation that they don't want to be in. Uh, if there is some sort of entrapment, it's because you want to be part of that entrapment. But there are no physical barriers keeping you held to a situation that you um, that could be creating anxiety and conflict for you or upsetting you. Uh, and if it's outside of a relationship or a love triangle, it could be the, uh, you know, the job, you know, feeling like you're trapped into a job or, you know, trapped into a friendship or there could be a family situation going in or going on for you and you feel trapped. Um, but there are always solutions. You're never physically trapped or bound to anything. So whatever it is, it may be the start of the week for you, Gemini, but then the middle of the week, you have the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups is all about celebrating and it's so welcomed uh, because we're approaching Labor Day weekend. So I just see some of you um, celebrating with your family and friends. Uh, if you're not celebrating with family and friends, you could be celebrating solo. It doesn't matter. I see drinking. Uh, I see happy good times. The Ten of Cups does rep represent family, but you could be solo or you could be single with children and you're celebrating with your children. Children, It could be that you're um, planning uh, to take that last weekend getaway before the holiday because uh, normally Labor Day is the end of the uh, summer season for the people who live in uh, the United States at least. Uh, but I see... With the Ten of Cups, not only there's a wedding, so there may be some sort of invitations to someone getting married or uh, Gemini being invited to someone's wedding. Could be a celebration of someone's birthday uh, that could be taking place on the 8th of September or the 10th of September. Somebody's celebrating something important. Could be an anniversary birthday, um, you know, something associated with a wedding invitation. I just see a lot of celebrating and I also see too if there is some celebrating could be those uh, what do you call those those um, I guess it's those juice fountains or coolers or whatever you know the, the juice or whatever liquid they have those fountains and it's coming out so it could be that some of you go to events where they have this this could also be related to um, casinos now I'm here in casinos so it may be those fountains around casinos um, where I see shooting water or there's uh, if it's something to drink it may be alcoholic beverages but they're coming out of they're shooting out of a it may appear to be a cup with a something you know much bigger than that a fountain let me just say a fountain so middle of the week whatever the conflict is that may be the start of the week for you and you feeling like you have the, it could be that growth and expansion where you fear when it comes to the job Gemini that there's no growth or expansion with that job it's like you've the job has run its course for you so I'm, I am getting that message the 10 also represents many options so for those single Gemini's out there who are looking to connect there's many options out there for you the options could be related to water signs cancer Scorpio or Pisces male or female it could be with any zodiac sign um, and then also the very last card because you have two major arcanas here in this reading and the uh, Last card, Friday going into uh, the weekend, we have the Hermit card. So this is in the reverse. And actually, this is pretty good, too. So the Hermit normally in the upright is for you to take a step back, detach from uh, people um, so that you can get yourself together and possibly uh, reevaluate, you know, reassess what it is that you know Gemini wants for themselves and what they want in their life and moving forward and that's like I never like to say going into a dark phase or solitary but it is that's what it is so some of you may have been in that mode and now you're coming out of it Friday going into the weekend which is appropriate because it's the holiday weekend then okay and then you're coming out with a clearer brighter perspective on your life and uh, which direction that you want your life to go um, you have the support of the ten of cups 
to say that. And I just feel that some of you want to just be feeling, you know, emotionally really good uh, this upcoming week. Something happens. I don't know what it is uh, with Gemini's. It could be that new relationship for the singles or it could be the addition of a family member. It could be, you know, uh, an adoption of a pet or a rescue of a pet or something. But something that occurs in the middle of the week for Gemini that brings on some sort of emotional happiness and fulfillment. This happiness and fulfillment could be related to uh, those Geminis who already have children. Uh, and it's just the emphasis of being around your family or your children. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting. So it's not a bad week. Don't pay too much attention to that Eight of Swords. I just feel that it's you overthinking, thinking too much, and it's creating some sort of anxiety and possible fears and feeling like you're restricted somewhere, but you're not. It's just in your mind. Uh, so try to release that uh, as much as you can. But overall, I think this, this is a positive reading for you. But that's your reading, Gemini. And the golden path oracle card that i have selected for you is uh compassion i like this card compassion this card is asking you to be more compassionate to yourself start to pay attention to your thoughts see overthinking every time you have critical thought thoughts about yourself make an effort to replace those critical thoughts with a positive and loving one you are a beautiful soul and even though you may perceive that you are less than perfect you are perfect just as you are so that critical thinking is related to you, the sword's energy, okay? Because that's what the sword represents. Uh, critical thinking, uh, being analytical. But sometimes, uh, because it is the number eight, I think there's too much overanalyzing and overthinking. Sort of calm it down a little bit. Uh, divert your thinking and possibly, you know, pick up, uh, you know, a book to read or a magazine or just you know go out on a walk or something like that just to decrease these levels of overthinking so there's Gemini is thinking too much about something that's close to them or personal to them okay um, but the, the message is for you to try to decrease that thinking stop being overly critical towards yourself and over analyzing uh situations especially when it comes to whatever it is that you're thinking about and then you're putting an end result to that situation whereas the situation may or may not even occur okay that's my uh, thought and my message for you Gemini thank you once again for visiting my channel I do appreciate you all uh, <clears throat> I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead, especially going into Labor Day weekend. Please be very safe and vigilant. You know, normally around the holidays, we always get this crazy activity, um, not so much in the States, but it could occur in the States. Um, but anywhere, anywhere you are, anywhere you travel, just be safe and have a good time. OK, uh, until the next time, Gemini, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.